All right, hello, and welcome back to the Grand Finals. Yay, we're finally here, and it's almost midnight. It's almost midnight. So you get to, you get to ring in go the into new the year. new year with us. Woo! Waiting to see who gets their invite to the Tavern Hero Qualifier for, for Waiting Winter to Prelims. see who gives who the kiss yep. for New Year's. <laughs> Izzy Flow uh, on the bottom of the screen when they jump into it versus HC015. All right, so looking at the lineups, I know who is your favorite. Yes. But who do you think is going to win? <laughs> who do I think is going to win? I think the... I When I when I enter in a into a tournament, uh, especially in like very developed metas, mm -hmm. I usually just like to go with the level 0 lineups. And right. I think HC, HC has a lot of the same thought processes mm -hmm. as I do, mm -hmm. uh, which is probably why we work so well together. Right. Like, he just brings a standard lineup, knows his plan, and wants to do it well. Um, is he kind of has a little bit more of of speed bumps like the priest deck could, is somewhat underwhelming in a lot of the dragon strategies and reno warlock can sometimes stumble which i think is going to be the main the main key in the, in this matchup well you you know that it's a dragon priest uh we we've seen him on on camera before earlier oh, okay, okay 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 <laughs> okay if we're at we're i think we're at uh arena priest then he would get a, a few more points but i just like a straightforward lineup a lot of the times Right, just the a lineup that just does its job, yeah. you know, and yeah. just S tier. And you see, they're beginning their match now, so right, cool. we'll jump in to the game in progress. All right, so he leads with the priest. Yeah, he leads with the priest. Probably just to try and get it over with. Right? Yeah, it's a very good, it's a very good hand from his like leading with uh, North Shire Cleric into, wow. into Power Word Shield into Ball Talon Priest. Mm -hmm. This is kind of how you want to win the early game. Yeah, um, North Shire is really hard to answer. Depends uh, on how he plays his North Shire, I think, because he sees the War Axe at hand, which is very awkward for, yes. for them to deal with. But there's no reason not to throw the North Shire here. Uh, uh, <laughs> without, I think without. Without a two drop in hand, he kind of could make that heads up play. Like he knows that that, that the threat of war axe is there. Mm -hmm. I guess he was just hoping. Yeah, it's right. fair. I wouldn't blame. Uh, another play could have potentially been like the deck hand the coin. Whoa, Deathwing. <laughs> Deathwing on two <laughs> would have been would have been an amazing hand. <laughs> but, I was gonna say, um, unfortunately, yeah, it could have been, yeah. been deck hand Not the coin case. and the the one one. That gives a weapon. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. There's a bunch of ways that it can be answered. And we, we see, just as I said a moment ago, like this is a very, very underwhelming uh, position mm -hmm. for, for Izzy Flo to find himself in. Mm -hmm. And now, what, like, this Talon Priest is getting any value, but HD has a, like, a very straightforward plan, and he's just going to hit face over and over again. Like, Would you play the Talon Priest here, or would you just depth the 5G? Uh, I would just develop a threat at this point. Mm -hmm. Even uh, You can't. Oh, you just has, you just shadow that you just ripped off the yeah, top. Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it allows him to follow up on turn four with Cabal, Cabal Talon Priest with and Power Shield. Powered, yeah. Okay. Wow. Now Ishi responds with a free Dread Corsair. Mm -hmm. And upgrade a weapon. Yep. Things are looking pretty good right now for HC. At this point, there's no reason not to just keep going face, because you're not going to be able to kill Yeah, you that. can ignore the board at this yeah. point. You really just want to like minimize the amount of turns that it will take for for your opponent to find uh, the dragon fire potions, the holy novas potentially mm -hmm, that are there. Mm -hmm. You don't want to basically you don't want to give them the chance to play. Exactly. <laughs> and you're just going to go in. Mm -hmm. Very little concern. Ooh. Oh, okay. or we see he's going to pump the. Pump the Frothing Berserker up and protect his, his Dread Corsairs from Holy Nova. Okay. Still kind of vulnerable to Excavated Evil, but Excavated Evil also pumps the Frothing Berserker for a lot. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's this is a really big multi-purpose play. Yes. Um. Um. The Guardian can do it. Uh, well, Guardian's kind of a necessity at this point, don't you think? Uh. Yeah, I guess it's just it just feels like it's gonna be inevitable, you know. Uh, do you think that you could? Could maybe survive off of the back of a corruptor into into Twilight Guardian play. Mm, let's see. So it will pump the Berserker to six. So six, three, nine, ten, thirteen. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It. 
Both feel like just really difficult. Yeah, both feel really underwhelming. At least this like explicitly just locks yeah, up the board and forces him to mm-hmm. to have these forces him to these go answers. like at least like unit or two. It also plays into Dragonfire Potion, which is probably the, the turn that he that he would want. Yeah, he's just hoping to rip down off the top right now. We see he throws out the well played, so maybe he's not <coughs> playing it at all. I'd be surprised. Yeah. Because most decks would at least run one. Yeah. I think, yeah. Right? Gotta play into your outs. I guess it has been a long a long night. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You wow. see game one game one settled. Yep. Uh, I would think the aggro warrior is the one that the priest is aiming to beat, right? Because uh, you're hoping to go into your worm rest agents into your Exactly. Yeah. We didn't the, see any of that. Lead, not leading with Twilight Well and then, you know, kind of getting a clunky draw with a bunch of threes and fours in your right. hands. And getting the um Getting the one drop answered with the war axe. Exactly. Yeah. That's why you really want to prioritize the value on your Northshire cleric a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. All right. So, do you think Izzy Flo would continue with priest at this point, or would he try to? I think I think shaman has a little bit of a better outcome, mm-hmm. so he might he should. Mm-hmm. And we see that just that here. Mm-hmm. Wow, and in tomb. We see, actually, has the Doom Hammer on the coin. Things are really looking up for him. Mm-hmm. Both players are probably going to mulligan a lot of cards. Oh. Ooh, okay. Whoa. Yeah. Wow, Izzy Flo's hands is really clunky. Yes. Wow. Okay. Um, you just dropped the patches here, right? Uh, I think. Yeah. Oh, you could you could coin the totem golem out. Uh, I'll coin totem and then patches turn two. There's nothing really to do on turn three though. Actually, I, I really like keeping doom hammer in in the priest. Yeah, I was just gonna they, ask if you were gonna keep the doom hammer. Yeah, I generally like given the opportunity where I know that there's a control deck mm-hmm. uh, on the other side. Mm-hmm. Like I keep doom hammer a lot of the times. Right, because you're not ever gonna be threatened enough that doom hammer is dead. Yeah, you especially know, you just want to have it. Yeah, yeah, because you'd rather not have it be the bottom two cards of your deck. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, nothing to do on turn three, but there's but, a lightning. Yeah. Smorking is <laughs> never really, never really <laughs> nothing. <laughs> All right. We see he can't even play the North Shire Cleric. Right, because he's contested just by the totem goal. Could gain yeah. him three life, but it's also like a lot of value being given up. Right. Wow. And we see right here he's going to go into wow. ancestral knowledge, knowing he's a lava shock, and yeah. he's not going to use this jade, uh, this jade lightning very quickly, but. Mm-hmm. Now we have now we have Doom Hammer. Wow. So follow up. Everything's just looking fantastic. Yes. Right, yes. You see right now. Okay. Double Doom Hammer for the acidic swampoos off the top. How do you think he uses his lava shock? Do you think he just unlocks uh, the crystals now to make a to totem? Make a totem, or do you think he saves it for turn six with the or turn six with the doom hammer developed? Well, I see. I mean, the two doom hammers. Wait, oh, okay. So he is saving it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe the second doom hammer because he's afraid of the ooze he learned out from the the previous set. Yeah. Makes sense. A L- little bit of lingering paranoia about yeah. getting punished. Yeah. And there. and he's in a really good position right now, so I'm fine with it. I guess it has to be Jade Claws, right? Right. Just because it answers so much stuff. Yeah. And your priest, you can, you can afford you, it. You can afford a little bit of life, not versus Doomhammer, but yeah. yeah. But you know, the Rock Fighter's not here, so it's not colossal damage. But Doomhammer is just, it puts you on a clock. Yeah. We'll see here whether or not he really wants to go into it, and he does. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes, like if. If he were in that situation where like he would truly like actually paranoid about wanting to wanting to save this doom hammer mm-hmm. versus swamp ooze, he would probably wait for a rock fighter weapon. But he's not gonna he's not gonna sit back on that. He's just mm-hmm. gonna develop it now. Mm-hmm. Stick and with his original plan. Yeah. It's more... And HC learned from the previous game that this is just a straight up dragon priest. So yeah. he's not he's not scared of like a Reno suddenly popping him back up to full. Absolutely. Does he go for the brand J claws for the extra the extra golem? <laughs> no, he definitely doesn't have the time for that. <laughs> Is he considering the black wing? Uh, I believe so. It gives him a clean like clean answer to to the bigger half of the board. Mm-hmm. 
like there's still no way to deal with the Doomhammer, but that was the case before with any other play as well. Yeah, so. I think he just feels bad that he probably can't get like a he he, he can't squeeze a heal in. Exactly. Like in case there's like a lava burst or something. Uh, and that's yeah, over. it's just really wow. cool. Yep. Another fast game. Yep. Wow. It's so, gonna be difficult going forward to see where this this priest deck can actually like eke out. Yeah. Uh, good position. Mm-hmm. Because the two matchups that you're supposed to be favored against, you just lost yeah, you because just lost. you couldn't draw your early game. I think, um, as a whole, the mage uh, might be a little bit more favorable for, for Izzy, mm -hmm. uh, because Draconid Operator oper Operative uh, has the option to steal a lot of the bigger threats. Ice yeah. Block, yeah, so uh, Reno Jackson. Mm -hmm. Well, you wouldn't steal Reno. What? When you, well, when you get to the Fatigue Clan, it becomes sh yeah, yeah, quite, quite playable. Point, yeah. I guess it depends on whether or not Izzy really sees that far ahead, mm -hmm. or he could just like take an aggressive route where he just mm -hmm. develops a bunch of Twilight Whelps. Oh, he just down. decides to stick with the priest to I get it out of the way. Like if he can't I mean, win, then yeah, if he can't win with priest <laughs> now, he might as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, let's see if it can do a run back. Yeah. This is a really much better opener. Yeah. Uh, which dragon would you keep here? Would you keep the? Uh, okay. Uh, would you keep the Azure or would you keep the Dragonite? I think he he really wants to build that attrition. Like Dragon is something that he would love to cast on five. Mm -hmm. Okay. And these things sort of like cycle within one another, like with the nether. Right, you can yeah. never spite another dragonoid, yeah. and the dragonoid can, yeah. Okay. So yeah, he gets a little bit more room. We see that HC's hands underwhelming this time, so maybe like he gets the aggressive route that he was looking for the co the other couple games. Mm -hmm. Especially now with Bran. It's it's uh, two zero. Okay. And you see just that. Wow. It discovers okay. another dragonoid operator. That's great. People have actually been uh, been thinking over how Discover works as a result, because this is the only priest class uh, dragon, I believe, and it comes up more often. Little, oh, you're right, yeah, because there's a higher percentage chance little because it's a class game. card. And because, yeah, it's true. That's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, everything else in the pre I mean, it's that or the Twilight Well. Yes, yes. Ooh. We see Kazakas presumably for five. Yep. We see just that. Yeah. What would you pick here? Um, maybe to transform to maybe answer something later in the, uh, later on. Yeah. Because uh, I don't think Dragon Priest throws down multiple threats at once. So what you want to hit is usually just there. Yeah, he sees picks Polymorph and summon and the a five five. I think yeah. developing a threat is very very efficient mm -hmm. for him. We see he's gonna lead. We see Izzy's gonna lead with the Draconid. Yep. Let's see what he finds. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. So he snap picked the yeah, volcanic he snap picks it. Well, I believe one of them was arcane intellect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think of Solia as a? Uh, whoa, wow. Oh. Do you misses the fifty-fifty? Uh, that depends on how heavily you value the North Shark cleric, but yeah. Uh, what do you think of Solia? I think Solia is a really good way for these decks to to build a removal mm -hmm. while developing a threat. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the times people are really invested into into just like a zero mana pyroblast, but you can get a lot of value out of just like fireball. <laughs> it's a virtual virtual fire mental at, at times. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me see this is the one more one of the more favorable matchups falling through. We just like develops more things onto the board. Mm -hmm. And steals a lot of the Reno Locks uh, card advantage. What was the top? Is that an Alex Strong? Uh, the, the the card just drawn, yes. Yeah, okay. It's just saying pretty underwhelming right now. I think. Yeah, I'm thinking of the Thorason. Yeah, just I agree. to get like just to discount everything, maybe like. Dragon next turn. Oh, okay. In situations like these, where like you have a bunch of things that you could potentially play, I think mm -hmm. just like discounting several cards. Yeah, just discounting several good cards. Like they're kind of underwhelming in the long run because you don't discount too many like of the key cards. Impactful cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the better word. But it also makes your opponent play differently. Mm. Like sometimes if my opponent drops a Thorson at this point, I'm thinking, oh, they probably have all the burn in their hand. Exactly. You know? So it makes me play like a little more defensive. Yeah. 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 Is that the Manic Soul Eater just run? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. 
So what's AC trying to do right now? Like, what should be his... At the moment, he's trying... He's trying to build a position, like, where we see with the, the Sully here. He's trying to just develop uh, a big threat while not getting hit in the face a bunch, or mm -hmm. having his minions removed, mm -hmm. uh, which, as I said before, Sully is, like, very, very good at doing so. Mm -hmm. Blizzard here, stopping the board, leads into Flame Strike if he should draw, if he should draw it. It also projects Flame Strike very well. Yes. For his opponent. Oh, but... Oh, is he just is thinking about playing into it anyway? Just yeah. because of his hand. Yeah, I like mean, he, he gets is... to heal the... That's true, pressure, yeah, he can but... heal it. There's still the Sully that he has to deal with, so... Yeah. Flame Strike would still be a clear if uh, HC were to have it, or top deck it. I'll see if he picks up a secret he has access to. He has access wow, to uh, the Medivh's Valet, but this is fine. Volcanic, Volcanic Potion's pretty efficient to get rid of this 5-2 mm -hmm. and to help hang off this Twilight Guardian. Let me see just that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think? Oh. Oh. So he's setting up for for two turns to kill this uh this Azure Drake, while also occupying the the hero power from Izzy. So the previous turn, uh, Izzy probably assumes that there's no flame strike, so he feels a little safer developing the board. Yeah. Well, volcanic potion would have been quite underwhelming compared to flame strike. Yeah. yeah. But now he just develops rag. This yep. is fine. Mm -hmm. We see it's gonna get the entomb, which is kind of unfortunate, but. Yeah. But there was no other player there. Yeah. Unless you were to Alex, but Alex without anything means that they, the priests had a chance to heal up, exactly. so it makes no sense. Oh, this is uh... Ooh. Would you just Nova Doomsayer here? It's kind of tempting from how this game is played out for him. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any other, like... Strong considerations. Is he thinking about the Thor's one? He did just see an entomb. He hasn't seen any bookworms or shadow word pains. Mm -hmm. I think just go for it. Yeah, you yeah. can see he's going to develop the ice block alongside of it. Yeah, he could Thor's on next turn on an empty board. Makes sense. This is also good because any additional uh, Draconoid operatives can't discover ice block, mm. which means that he still has a line to kill through Alex if he if he should need okay. need be. Would you have been as scared of a uh, shadow word pain here? Potentially, but it's just sort of like just yeah, it's just something accept. you have to accept. He's very low on cards compared to Izzy, so if there's a line to win, it's like presumably now. Mm -hmm. If this board does get cleared, he has a very clean Alex turn now, and we see just that. Yep. Wow. So with. Oh, a lot of uh, a lot of dragon dragon warrior decks since priest in general is just so underwhelming. I've been including inner fire. Mm -hmm. uh, it sort of fills the same role as defender Vargas by just like allowing you to shift into the aggressor in the in the early game. I see, I see. That's very interesting. Okay, yeah. so does I think does well, Izzy have an answer? Here? <laughs> uh, well, he could find one within this book right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ice barriers. Theoretically, an answer here. Uh, it's, it sort of stops the turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, we see he's going to take it here. Uh, I think just trying to high roll. All right. Oh, and and the fact that he grabbed the ice barrier, HC would know that it is ice barrier and not a uh, ice block. Yes. Yeah. We see the wow, book he itself. Also yeah. The oh no. <laughs> this sort of just occupies one turn, but we see he's going to go in into the into the babbling book first before mm -hmm. actually. Setting things up. Polymorph. Polymorph. Pretty okay. good. Yeah, it's very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, as HC right now, you're just you just feel super safe. You're behind yeah. a nice block. You have an Alex, and you're holding Pyro. What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes, he feels it, it, it yeah. like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from the spectate. It looked like uh, he ice lands his own Alex, which would have been a really big misplay, <laughs> to say the least. Are you trying to draw two with Azir? Like, I think I think what he's doing is he he considered setting up for for brand twilight guardian but it's pretty underwhelming since he already has volcanic potion mm -hmm. and nova in hand so what he's going to do is just sort of set up set up a big taunt try so and find just himself keep a trying to yeah. stop the alex and he also saw that the poly was used exactly so. well the polymorph came off the battling book correct ah yes you're right reno here just to be safe yeah. why not <laughs> See just that. Just one of the only lines that uh, that's actually gonna punish mm -hmm. if he t if he chooses to go Holy Nova and Black Ring Corruptor. Yeah, I think Holy Nova is really good here. Uh, it doesn't matter if yeah. he runs the Drake first here. What? Oh, he wants to heal himself up. That's that's pretty fair. Okay. Okay. So this is interesting. So, is he slowly getting out of the range of yeah. Pyroblast? Uh, AC would need to find the rest of his burn in order to do anything. He's got a lot of time to do it in. Yeah, getting through the ice block and everything. Like, is he only gains one point per turn? Mm -hmm. But he does need he does need several burn spells now. As a result, he's already down his ice lands. He still has Forgotten Torch, um, to get back into the game. Mm -hmm. Does he run the Cabal still? Uh, I don't I don't believe he does. Okay. He's gonna oh. set up the Ysera. I think that's fair, cause yeah, if there if there was a turn to do it, like we've yeah. already seen the Soul Aid gone, mm -hmm. so you can't zero mana Pyroblast or do anything. Nightmare isn't great. Not in the face of Ice Block. And you just start firing these off now. <laughs> uh. Oh. Also, happy oh, New Year, chat. Happy New Year's, everyone. <laughs> Woo, 2017. Yeah. Let's go. Back to what's important. Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it looks like that Deathwing is probably just going to stay in the hand for yeah, the rest of Yeah, almost certainly. <laughs> These are really tough because between between the Holy Nova and just like the general hero power, it's gonna be very difficult for for HC to actually find those extra points that mm -hmm. he needs. I think uh, I think how at far this into point, fatigue is uh, HC? There's five cards left. He's five cards ahead. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, oh okay. this yes, this okay. is exactly what he needed at yeah, this point. Yeah, so he's just gonna start. So now he's Warring of... Torch, Fireball, and the Pyroblast to help like sort of fill out this game. Mm-hmm. While he still has the block up, I would like to see this Pyroblast just finally go finally go face at a certain point. Has uh, uh, think... has Fireball been used this game? Uh, Pyroblast, excuse me. Has Fireball, Fireball been used? I, I don't think Fireball has been used, which leaves two draws left in the deck. Right, so so he besides Pyroblast, he could slowly just go into Fireball, Flaming Torch. Yep. A Blazing Torch. And there we go. Okay, wow. Uh... Yeah, this just puts him in the super danger zone. Yep. <laughs> oh. What could this discover? Okay, Nothing, right? So, so it if, would have if to be. If the fireball is not used, it, there will be fireball. Well, he has ice block up, so that's right. Pretty irrelevant. He could. Yeah. We see with five mana left, there's no answers in hand. Yeah. He already has the boring torch. Looks like this will end up shortly. Mm-hmm. Hey, right in time for New Year's. Yeah. Ended this tournament a year too late. <laughs> <laughs> this took way too long. This tournament took a year. <laughs> wow. Alright. Alright, and barring any catastrophes, 
<laughs> barring <AC>. a disconnect. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't there even go. go for the Firelands portal. <laughs> well, that's right. that was three zero. Yeah, with a three zero sweep, HC yeah. is the winner of the tavern here. <laughs> awesome! All right, congratulations to all. Well, I guess just him, since only one person gets the invite. But congratulations to everyone for yeah. surviving twenty sixteen. Yes. <laughs> HC got it. There you go. Amazing. Oh, man. Uh, do we want to get our winner in? Uh, yeah, let's grab him. I'll grab him. See okay. if he has anything to say. Uh, although I think all of us just wants to go home at this point, right? Yeah, something like that. We'll just... Yeah. Uh, we'll see if he wants to say anything. I'll grab him. We're not gonna get a winner's interview, but thank you everybody for. You can tell them to make a video. Thank you for uh, everyone for stopping by and watching. Thanks to all the competitors. And again, congratulations to our winner, HC015. Uh, even your cast or pizza. And yeah, that's it. All right. Have a good night, guys.